everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So you all, today I am filming my June empties and I have a lot this month. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it because I'm trying not to have y'all here forever. I know I have long videos, so let's go. So the first thing I used up is this Dove Renewing Ritual Bubble Bath in the Peony Scent. This bubble bath is awful. You you don't get any bubbles. I mean, you pour a, like half the bottle underneath your water and you look down and you see one bubble floating or a little bit of foam. And then by the time you sit down, they're gone. <laughs> so, no. When I repurchased this, no, I was tempted to get the cocoa scent because of the scent, but no, I'm not, no. Get, give me some bubbles, duh. All right, this next is this candle from Bath & Body Works. This is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. This is a nice fruity scent. Use that up fairly quickly, I wanna say. And then I have this candle from House of Siage. And I'll, I just have to show y'all this candle because this is why I will probably never get sponsored from certain people because I got to tell it how it is. Look at this. This candle, I didn't pay for this candle by itself. This candle was sent in a mystery vault. But look, look how bad it burned. Look at that soot. Then I heard an explosion as it was, it cracked, if, the, if there's a crack in the uh, candle, the House of Siage label is melted off. The scent was beautiful. It reminded me of Tom Ford's uh, Soleil Blanc, very beachy, very nice. It was a very pretty scent, but they need to fix this because I want to say this candle by itself, I know is over $50. And this stained my dresser. And I meant to take a picture because where, I don't want this to fall out. If you can see underneath that, that burn stain, I have light uh, entertainment system in my bedroom and I was burning it on that and it stained it. And I'm like, are you kidding me, House of Siage? So Bath and Body Works, they, I have never had a problem. Y'all, Walmart candles. I never had any of them do this. And this candle, I know is 50 plus dollars. And it, the, what is that called? The wick, balloon dub, mushroom. I'm not into candles, but look where it look real ugly. Mushroom with the things falling off in the candle. Then it's soot everywhere around the candle. Then the candle explodes, cracks, got little pieces of glass and you melted off the label, the House of Siage label, and you stained my dresser. And this candle is 50 plus dollars. Bye. We'll never, ever purchase a candle from House of Siage, ever. And if just by chance, if I get a mystery vault, then I will be doggone sure I'm very careful about putting some underneath the candle and everything else so it won't mess up any more of my furniture. But like I said, the scent, wonderful. That price point for all that to happen, and dog, you can go get a candle at Walmart for a dollar to three dollars, it doesn't do all that. No thank um, you. My camera, my phone just died, and so I'm gonna try to go fast because this is not turning into a pleasant filming experience. <laughs> so, Next is I finished uh, Portofino Pink Prosecco. This is a nice, juicy, sweet fragrance. Would I repurchase? No, I believe this is a one and done for me. Also finished up the mist. This was in my project, Use It Up. I will link that above. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. And this was also in my project, Use It Up. This is Enchanted Lily. Enjoyed it, but it's one and done for me also. Like I said, I'm trying to move fast. If you want to hear more about those fragrances, then check out my Project Use It Up update video. This is the matching lotion to Enchanted Lily. Finish that up. 
Now this is the Super Rich Moisturizing Body Wash in Hello Beautiful from Bath and Body Works. I cut it, that's why it looks this way. Hello Beautiful, I don't love, I have a mist, a lotion, and a, another body, a shower gel in this, and then I have to make my decision. I decided to go ahead and use this one up because I think I've had this for over three years and it was just time to get it out of my collection. So I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. So we're going to have to see. I'm not sure about Hello Beautiful yet. Okay, this is the Vagisil Dry Spray. You all have seen this and I don't know how many of my empties videos and I will of course continue to repurchase it. This is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. I really like this gel. I mean, I really did. So I would definitely repurchase this again. To me, it made my curls very shiny. It didn't make them crunchy. I didn't have flaking. Love this stuff. And then on the other end of the spectrum, this is the Quenching Plus Coconut Curls Frizz Defying Curling Curl Styling Milk from OGX. Hated it. Didn't do a thing for my hair, left my hair dry, did not enhance curls, did not moisturize, did not give shine, did not help frizz. I mean, it was like nothing. So no, would not repurchase that at all. This thing, these two things I got at a TJ Maxx haul. If I can remember which, which one it was, I will link it above. These things hurt so badly. I think they're supposed to be like pumice sponges. They got to go. They hurt. They had my elbow sore. So no, that is a no-go. I will not repurchase those again from TJ Maxx. This is the pH Balancing Cleanser in Love Wellness. You can get this from Ulta. This is a feminine wash. This is a nice feminine wash. I do like it. I don't love it though. It's good. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do it. I'll talk more about this uh, later in depth. It's good, but this is $25. So this is not something I would just rush to repurchase because I know I will get it again someday, probably when it's on sale, but at $25, it did not blow my mind. It was good, but not great. You had to interchange it with things for it to continue to work, at least for me. So I would repurchase it on sale. Oh, this is another candle we used up. This is Wildflower. And this is, I remember this is from the Target Dollar Spot. This is just your nice basic candle. But again, it didn't burn anything, didn't explode. And it was $3. <laughs> I also used up these Shiseido cotton pads. I've had these and I don't know how many videos. These are the only cotton pads I use. So yeah, I will continue to repurchase them. I still want to try those Chanel ones, but I haven't set my self to, to do that yet. That, you know, that's just a lot. Used up Listerine. This is self-explanatory. Finished up this Japanese Cherry Blossom Fragrance Mist. Use this as a house spray. Love it for that. But I wore this so much when it first came out. I think this came out when I was a teenager. And I wore it so much because it was the It fragrance that now I just can't stand to have it on my body. I can't. So this is, and I know y'all going to see that drizzling down, but I could not get this to come out no matter what I did. This is the Caramel Drizzle uh, Shampoo Shower Gel and Bubble Bath from its Philosophy. This smell nice. It smelled, you know, like that burnt caramel smell. Y'all know that scent. If, if you have caramel and body care, it usually has the same scent. This did not blow my mind. I found this at TJ Maxx and Philosophy bubble bath this it never has i always occasionally will per repurchase them i'm going to give it another try it did produce some bubbles unlike dove who you got a little foam and a bubble and then it was disappeared but not enough for if you're gonna pay regular price for this it's not that good to me for regular price for the 15 dollars i paid for it for 32 fluid ounces when this is usually probably 40 
plus dollars for this size it was a good deal and i enjoyed it for that if i ever saw it again i might would repurchase it if i was in the mood for it, it just depends on my mood with with philosophy with that product of theirs oh this is good this is the herbivore amethyst scrub this is well this is a body polish this is kind of like the dove body polishes but this smells very earthy to me it is a nice scent but it smells very natural this stuff my skin soft smooth glowing i would repurchase this i'm not in a hurry because i have so many scrubs but this is definitely a good one the only thing about that scrub is that it's glass and i'm um, i almost dropped it one day in the shower it scared me to death because I'll, you, no, so they need to fix that. I just don't like that a scrub is in a glass container. So this is my pocket bag in total softy sweet sugar cone. I absolutely love this. I haven't found it again. Oh, this is my favorite pocket bag I have ever used. I love this pocket bag. Finished up uh, some Kleenex. That I keep in my bag. This is the Hask Argan Oil Repairing Deep Conditioner. This was nice for an affordable conditioner. You know, it was good. Like I said, I haven't found many deep conditioners that just wow me because my hair has always been difficult, but this did enough for me to say I would repurchase it. <coughs> when I'm trying to save that money, honey. This is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Curls Deep Conditioner. You all have seen this, I don't know how many times. I use this to detangle my hair. Already have repurchased it and will continue to do so. This you've seen quite a few times. This is the Pink Siren Soap Ocean Extracts Relaxing Bath Salts. Love this for the bath. I don't know exactly what it does for me, but the scent is nice, and I like to make fancy baths when I'm going to take one because it's fun. This is the Flamingo Light Hydrating Spray. This is wonderful. Love it. It is hydrating. I love to spray this on my bag, but I can also use it as a base layer if I have a lotion that's not as moisturizing as I would want it to be. This is wonderful. I love the scent. It's very light, fresh, very nice. This I love. And I've already repurchased it. This is the Garnier Fructis Curl Renew Reactivating Milk Spray. This was just average. This was okay. I was using this as a uh, curl reactivator to refresh my curls. This, like I said, it was okay. I think this was $3. I don't, you know, if... You, I get in a mood where I know I've said this. I don't want to spend a lot of money. I would buy this again, but I, it's not that great. It didn't, it wasn't so good that I would be like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get that one again. That would be, you know, if I just need something, I don't want to spend a lot of money. That's decent. This is the L'Oreal Dream Lens No Haircut Cream Leave-In. This stuff is the best smelling hair product I have ever used from a drugstore. It smells so good, and it's a great leave-in. It leaves my hair soft. It helps leaves it shiny. I love this. I've already repurchased it. Okay, this is, and I thought I had another one of these. Maybe I don't. This is the Coconut Deep Conditioning Protein Pack. Usually this works really well as a protein treatment for my hair, but I felt like it didn't work as well as it, as it has previously. So I don't know. And I bought five of these, so we're gonna see how what's up with that. So I'm gonna try those out. And if I feel like it's not doing anything for my hair, then I'm gonna have to move on and find another protein treatment. This is the tongue gel, use this to clean my tongue. I do like this, but I feel like I need this brush, their brush to make it work the best because now I'm using the Origel tongue scraper. I think that's the name of it. So I'm gonna have to purchase this brush and see if it works better. Cause I feel like with that, I need a foam with the other 
brush tongue cleaner I use, they stopped making it. This gel, I don't feel like works well with the tongue scraper I like. So I'm gonna try this one and then I'll make my decision. Whew, okay, what is this? This is the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I use this to spray my mask, to spray my face. This is nice, I, it did help with breakouts, just like the Caudalay, but this does not smell good. Now, Caudalay doesn't smell great, but this one was worse to me, and I just felt like Caudalay is more refreshing. I like it better than this. Is it way more expensive? Yes. So, this is good. I mean, it does the same thing, but to me, not quite as well and luxurious feeling as the Caudalay. So, like if I'm in the mood not to pay Caudalay prices, then I would give this a go because like I said, it did work. It did help with breakouts. It was great for my mask. I'm still wearing my mask. So yeah, if I want to save some money, I would buy this again. Okay, y'all, I emptied the rest of the stuff out of the bag. You know, usually with me, if you watch my empties videos, I get to a certain point, I have to empty the stuff out because that bag is deep. So next I finished up the Raspberry Tangerine Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. I love this. This soap made me want to purchase the Fragrance Mist because this is so sweet and fruity and citrus. I just love this. So yay, I finished it up. I also finished up this way sample of uh, hair conditioner and shampoo. This is for medium hair, but this worked wonderfully on my hair. And it smells so good. Whey product smells so good. So after I finish up some shampoos, I'm actually thinking about giving Whey shampoo and conditioner a try for my hair. I think they have a duh, thick one. But this worked well for me too, so I don't know. I might just get this one. Y'all, that little sample, I love those. So I would purchase that with my own money. So let's keep with some more hair products. This is the Olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo. This again, great shampoo, love it. I especially love it with my hair, when I straighten my hair, but it, this is one of the rare products I feel like works well with when I'm wearing my curls and when I'm straightening my hair. So this is also on my list to purchase. Well, repurchase full size. And this um, Olaplex number no. three repairs and strengthens all hair types. This was nice too. I did feel like it strengthened my hair. So I would give this, repurchase this too. The Olaplex is good. I really like it. Oh, and I also finished the Herbivore Cocoa Rose Coconut Oil Body Polish. Now, like I said, these aren't the best smelling to me. Yeah, they are not the best smelling. They're very natural smelling, like the amethyst, but they leave my skin feeling wonderful. It's a luxurious feeling scrub, doesn't strip my skin, leaves it soft. I really like these, and you know what? More than likely, the way I would repurchase these, if they have it in a gift set again, like they did for the holidays at Sephora, they usually have these in a gift set. That's when I would get them again. I don't think I need a full size of those. I also finished the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I got this, I think, as a 100 points something or with a code at Sephora. I don't like this. This reminds me of the Clinique Melt Away Balm or Take the Day Off, whatever it's called, and it leaves that film in my eyes. It takes forever to leave. No, I would not uh, purchase that at all because I cannot stand that feeling. This is the Caudalie Rose, and I don't know the rest of it, <laughs> Rose Hand Cream. This is nice. I purchased this years ago. Well, not a few years, maybe. At uh, some Sephora sale, they had a, a kit with all of these. So I'm glad to use them up. Would I repurchase this? No. I don't love the smell. And to me, Bath & Body Works hand creams work better than these. And they're way cheaper than Caudalie hand creams. 
same uh, amount of product too. So next I finished up quite a few. These were in my beauty fridge. I was like, Sean, see, use these things because you've been looking tired anyway, use them. This is the Soap and Glory Puff Eye Attack Under Eye Brightening Patches. These were nothing special to me. I mean, I've only had one set of these, but yeah, I didn't like them. And I think these kind of scratched under my eyes a little bit, so I would not repurchase those. These Sephora eye mask, I believe came in that Sephora uh, gift set I purchased at the Sephora winter sale. And this is the Watermelon Hydrating and Glow. This was very nice and these are just relaxing. I Like I said, I don't notice much with these, but they do feel good. And sometimes it makes me look less tired underneath my eyes. So this is the Hydrating and Glow, the Watermelon. This is the Caffeine Smoothing and Energizing. Uh, this one is the Anti-Fatigue and Anti-Dark Circles Pomegranate. And this last one is smooth, Soothing and Depuffing Cucumber. Would I purchase these on their own? No. Would I be happy to get them in another set and use them and enjoy them? Yes. Okay, I also finished this Shea Moisture African Black Soap Blemish Prone Face and Body Bar. I would repurchase this again. The only thing is that soap to me just melted away if, if, if the water hit it at all. So it's like I destroyed that soap. It was falling apart. So now I know I have to really protect this soap in the shower and make sure it does not get wet unless I'm using it. But it did help. I like to use this on my neck because my neck can get irritated. Um, and underneath my chest area, that this was very good for that and I would repurchase it. I also finished up another bar soap and this is the Dove Go Fresh in the Pomegranate scent. Y'all, this is a wonderful soap, fruity, fun for summer. Love this soap. And I have like seven more bars. Did I get an eight bar pack or a 12 bar? I can't remember. So I have plenty of that, no need to repurchase. So this next fragrance, I believe, yeah, this is in my project, Use It Up too, but I did finish it in June, so I'm gonna show it. This is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Love this fragrance, fell in love with it, with it again while using it up, and I will repurchase it someday. I also finished, and I meant to show this before that, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills I can't see the name of it. This is the mascara that I got in the Sephora, that Sephora kit, mascara kit. I get it every winter sale. This mascara was okay. It To me, I didn't really notice it doing much for my lashes until the end. You know, when you're about to use up mascara and it's drying out. To me, it got really good towards the very end of it. But no, this I would not purchase this. You know, if I got it again in a set, would I use it? Of course. So I finished up this Ariana Grande Thank You Next pen spray. I do not like travel sprays. I do not like roller bottles. <laughs> Anything like this in my collection, I just try to use it up. And especially this one because this is this is what I enjoy. I finally started liking more as I wore it. But it reminds me so much of Dolce & Gabbana, Dolce Garden, and I prefer that one. Yeah, I, I'll have to do a whole story about it, but yeah. So I use this up. Would I repurchase Thank You Next at this point in my life? No, but I never say I will never with a perfume because you know, you smell, your nose changes. What you like changes. So as of right now, I'm gonna say, no, I would not repurchase now. Okay, and I used up quite a few samples from my perfume sample bag, so let's hit it. This is a Pure Grace Magnolia from Philosophy. No, that was too floral. From It was nice, but it didn't make me want to go purchase a philosophy perfume and it didn't last at all for me and this is amazing grace i did 
purchase philosophy amazing grace and this came with it so yeah i love this scent now it took years but i do love it now and there's another amazing grace so i use that up and i'm trying to go in some semblance of an order so this is dior enjoy i use this one up because i have a full bottle of this that was gifted to me really enjoy that i call that the perfect interview scent this is Dior Joy Intense. I really like this. So if I finish up, like this reminds me, Dior Joy Intense reminds me of Blooming Bouquet. So I'll have to see what I decide to finish up or how much I finish up. But this is on my radar because I did like that Joy Intense. And this is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. And I had, I, was, I might as well go ahead and finish it up since I finished up the bottle. So I also finished up this Aqua de Joya. Love this. I just decided to finish these up because I have a full bottle. So why have this if I have a full bottle? This is Lipstick Fever by Juliet Has a Gun. This reminds me of Killian's Rolling in Love. So, you know, this is a good alternative that if when I run out of Killian's Rolling in Love, if I don't have Killian Rolling in Love money, then I can go get Lipstick Fever and still kind of enjoy that scent. It's not a straight up dupe, but it does really remind me of Rolling in Love. This is Dolce um, and Gabbana Garden. I decided to use this one up because I have a full bottle. This is a tropical floral coconut fragrance. And I use uh, House of Siage, the Disney perfume, because it was just taunting me. I really do like this fragrance, but I did a whole video on it and I'll link that above. And I do want the bottle. I don't even know if it's still available. I don't know what's going on with House of Siage. All the stuff said sold out and some stuff is on deep discount. I mean, I thought, I don't know what's going on with them. So, I want this. I still haven't convinced myself it's worth that price though. Because you're paying mostly for the bottle. You're paying for that beautiful Mickey Mouse ear bottle. And I just don't know yet. I, I like the fragrance, but I don't know for sure yet. And this is House of Siage Whisper of Time. Love this. Decided to go ahead and use up this. I didn't even know I had this still from uh, my discovery set when I first did that. This was one of my first videos. I'll link that above too if y'all have never seen it. I love this and decided to use this little sample because I have a travel size spray of Whispers of Time and I have a full size bottle. And this is like a bougie soap. You smell really fresh, really clean, and to me, very high end. So you all, those, this is everything I use up in the month of June. Sorry for the technical difficulties. And yeah, this has been a trip with me trying to film these couple videos I have planned today. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me what you finished up for the month of June. And please share this video with everyone who loves to not only buy different products, but use them up. And please turn on your notification bell so you will never ever miss another video of mine. But especially if you like empties videos, so you will not want to miss what I use up this month in July. So as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.